In the last couple of videos, we saw how to debug the standard T code ME22N and ME21N, where we tried to change the purchase order and create a new order. I'm sure you would like to learn how to debug some other transactions other than that. So for, for that, I have selected a T code called F-43 and I'll show you how to debug that. So debugging is same in any, any standard T code or the custom T code. You just need to know where to put your breakpoint and how to evaluate the data. So let's see the error here and try to figure out how to debug it. Let me populate some data and I'll give a reference as SAP yard, doctor SAP and let me put something like this. I'll put the account, is the vendor here and I hit enter now. Okay, look you got an error document type jy invalid with this transaction code so this you don't know whether this is a custom or a or a standard error so what you need to do you need to double click on that error message you will see the message number z1002 so the moment you see z1 you should be able to um, reflect that this is a custom message so in order to debug what we need to do we need to know the message number and the message class and then I'll close this pop-up. Now I'll do a slash H. The debugging is switched on. Now I will try to hit enter one more time. And look, it stops at some debugger. But this is not the place where you got the error from. So you want to get or you want to get to the point where those that error was thrown. So by now uh, you should be able to put a breakpoint by yourself. That is a dynamic breakpoint. What I'll do, I'll do breakpoint at and I'll put messages. So breakpoint at message and I have copied the message ID that is Z1 and the number is 002. 002 and then hit OK. So it says breakpoint is set. So where is the breakpoint set? Let's check here. So the breakpoint is set at message ID Z1 and message number 002. So the moment the uh, debugger cursor reaches that message it will stop there so what we need to do now we need to just press continue or f8 so if it finds that message id and number it will stop or else it will not stop so let's continue and bingo you look here it stopped at some message and it has an error message e so when error throw this message id that is z1 and message number 002 okay and see let's see what is the message jy and okay so it's it will formulate the message later but you know that the message id and the message number was reached therefore the breakpoint or the debugger stopped at line 104 let me close this tool and i'll open another one so another one means where i can see the uh so let me check what i wanted to see the call stack okay so call stack I want to see up I want to see up so we have seen in one of the earlier videos how to play so we can have four uh, small windows at a time there are tools at a time so right now we have just two this is desktop and this is the app stack so here we got this error so I want to know where what was called before this error was error message was called so this before this error message was called this subroutine was called validate doc type vl doc type so what i can do i can just click on this part and it will take me the place exactly from where the this form message output was called so this message output was called from here and this is the form so looking at this i don't know whether it's a standard or a custom my hunt said it is a standard one because it doesn't start with z means this program is doesn't start with z but look if you go up a little it will be more clear so always go to the top and it is says here something and then you look at the description here so it says boolean rules automatically generated by rgugr00 generated code by used by validation substitution and rules that means these are codes which are auto generated when some substitutions were configured so this may look like a standard code but actually these are part of a 
custom configuration which was done okay so and then you want to know why it failed okay why it failed so in order to do that what we need to do we need to stop our breakpoint at the very top of this form or the subroutine so what i'll do i'll double or click here breakpoint set i'll save it now i go out of the debugger now i'll try to hit enter one more time so it will stop before this error message is displayed so now i'll because we have set a breakpoint before the error message displays now i hit enter look here so it stopped at the first line of that subroutine which was validated or val underscore doc type so in case you are curious what are all the steps which were uh, traversed before it reached here so you need to go to this ABAP and screen stack we talked about it in the very earlier videos right so transaction is f-43 or you can also have alternative like fb01 so fb01 and f-43 do the same screen then it went to pi process after input then some module then it came to this subroutine subroutine then validate qpf fi validation header it is a function then another function then it came to subroutine validation call and then finally our subroutine where we are now this arrow says the current subroutine you are in valid val underscore doc now let me try to debug one by one so i do f6 i do f6 i go to fuck so let me go to this subroutine now what i have to do i have to continue or press a uh, single sorry continuous f1 f5 or single step so i do f5 it takes me inside and then it does some calculation so it's checking for t code if the t code is fv 50 but our is t coded fv 01 because f does 43 or fb 01 are same so if it is fb 50 only then this is true but in this case our case it is not fb 50 it is fb 01 so it will go to this part that is false check here this false means f and true should be t okay it is true and false so let me take this to other side what I have to do, I have to click on this card, maximize horizontally, and then I want to cut this, and then I want to take this up. What I will do, I have to press this one, maximize vertically. Look here, is so I like this vertical display because it has more space. So now it became false. So I go here, if it is true, do something. If it is false, it's coming out. So now it is checking what is the condition. Is it true or false? Condition, let me delete this. So the condition which we got from this subroutine is false. And it is checking with true so it will not enter because this is not equal so it will not enter here it will go to the next part the next part they have set a step so these are actually substitution rule steps i believe uh, i don't know i have not worked in it but i believe this is substitution step 02 which come came from configuration now so let's see what is happening here it goes f5 i did f5 and then this is false it is setting it false by default see this is false and this is false and then it's checking what is the t code t code is fb02 if fb02 then r es00 is becoming true so don't think that if this is true that means success it might be true for a failure case also okay so let's let's see if r00 is true okay and checking if this is blank yes then r es004 is also true okay if it is true then res which was earlier set as false is also set true okay and now if 9 is equal to true which is correct then it will come here then set the evaluation res00 as false see here it will be set as false it sets false and then it's checking if it is true yes then it does something it has some subroutine uh, called dynamically so you need not know that but I'll, I'll just do f6 and then let's see what happens 008 it is false this is true so it will not go to this part it will go to this part okay and now it is setting res 10 as false oh no sorry true it is setting it as true and then res 10 is equal to true then res 00 is equal to true okay now it came back to the calling uh, subroutine now if condition is true okay condition is true it's, it will go inside here now let's see what we get in the check check is blank now check comes as f that means false if check is false that means you are getting going to this message type 
and in this message you are getting the that message error what was the message error we already know that the message was some z1 and the message a number was 002 so since this was a substitution rule and it was a standard a configuration we set the error so whoever set it they were able to know it but you can always tell them that if you were a functional guy or a, a bapper you can tell that okay you got this error from some substitution now please go and check the substitution configuration uh, and fix it so they have to so they have to fix it that document of jy invalid with this transaction code so looking at uh, what we saw in the debugger it looks like the doc type jy is valid only for t code fb01 okay not or fb50 not with not with f-43 so so this information you can give to your configurator or a functional guy or if you are a functional guy you need to check your own configuration what what went wrong and then you can fix it all right so the motto of this small or short video was to show you how to debug any error messages which you get in your standard t code so once you get the standard t code do a slash edge find the error code put the breakpoint before before the error is received and then go back to the t code again and do the debugging one more time so that way you will be able to figure out any error messages in your system.